Hi everyone, welcome back to the online course on Neurobiology. In the last couple of videos, we have look, looked at the organization of the nervous system. And we want to now go deeper and see what each part of the brain is doing. But before we can do that, we need a way of uh, referring to different parts of the brain. We need some kind of a notation. In a geographical area, we can use directions to refer to different parts. For example, this is the northern side, and this is the western side, and this is the northwestern side, and so on. So can we use similar directions to refer to different uh, regions within the brain? That's what we will see in this uh, video. So this is the image of a brain, and two axes are shown here. By looking at this brain, can you tell which is the front side and which is the back side? So this side is the front side. This is called the anterior or the rostral side. Uh, this is the direction in which the person is viewing. And this is uh, where the brain would be uh, in this orientation. So this, this axis can be called the fr front and back axis or the anterior posterior axis or also called the rostral and caudal axis. So the rostral or the anterior side is where the prefrontal cortex is located. And this caudal or posterior side, uh, which is the back side of the brain, uh, that's where the visual processing area V1 is located. And uh, this cerebellum here uh, is also located on the posterior side. On this axis, uh, the you can call it the top to bottom axis also called the dorsal and ventral axis or superior or inferior axis of the brain. So parts of the brain that are towards the top can be called the dorsal or the superior areas. And the parts of the brain that are towards the bottom side uh, can be called the ventral or inferior areas. And the third axis would be the one that is not shown in this screen, perpendicular to the screen. So coming out or going into the screen and that axis is called the uh, medial axis or medial lateral axis. So things that are towards the side, so that are closer to the ear here, um, these areas are more lateral and parts of the brain that are towards the middle uh, of the brain, um, so that will be uh, closer to the midline of the brain, uh, they can be called more medial. Let's take a look at the brain uh, in 3D. So this uh, graphic shows the uh, brain uh, in this red color. And this is what it looks like um, uh, from different angles. And this is the front part and this is the back part. And at the bottom, you can also see the cerebellum towards the back part of the brain, the caudal side or the posterior side. Um, you can see that the brain has a particular shape. So it folds in this structure around the ears, uh, you can also see that it's somewhat uh, heavier towards the back side and somewhat uh, thinner uh, in the front side. To see the internal structures of the brain, we would need to make cuts along different planes in the brain. Uh, try to imagine what the brain would look like if we made these cuts along different planes. So for example, if I cut the brain uh, along the horizontal plane, uh, try to imagine what the brain would look like and would it be symmetric uh, on the left and right sides if we made that cut. Similarly, we could cut it along two other orthogonal planes. Can you guess uh, out of these three orthogonal planes that are possible, uh, in which of the cases will the brain will have left and right symmetry? I can tell you that the brain will have left and right symmetry in two planes and will not have it in one plane. Uh, can you guess uh, which two will have the symmetry and which one will not have the symmetry? We'll see that in the upcoming slides. So this is one of the cuts uh, that can be made along a plane. Can you guess uh, along which plane the brain has been cut in this case? Uh, just take a moment to think about it. 
So this is a cut that is made uh, parallel to the face of the person or parallel to the chest uh, like this here. And this cut results in an image. So after cutting, we are looking at the brain from the front uh, and this is what the brain would look like. Um, you see a roundish figure and the image is symmetric on left and right uh, because uh, you are seeing the the left side of the brain here and the right side of the brain here. So this is one of the cuts uh, which has symmetry and this is called a coronal cut. The cut that is made parallel to the face, the coronal cut. In this image you can also see uh, there are these whitish tracts, the white matter and then there are these denser regions, the gray matter. And these holes here are the ventricles through which the cerebrospinal fluid flows. Now here we have another cut uh, along a different plane and this is what the image looks like. In this case, can you guess where the cut has been made? Along what plane? Uh, please take a few moments to guess that before I show you the answer. So this is actually a cut that is made along the horizontal plane uh, like this. So if I horizontally uh, make a section through the brain and then I look at the brain from the top. This is what it would look like. This is the front part of the brain, the anterior side and this is the posterior side and this is the right side of the brain, the left side of the brain. We can call the structures that are towards the left side or the right side as lateral structures and the structures that are near the midline can be called the medial structures. So this is the medial to lateral axis, uh, both on the left or on the right. And this is the anterior posterior axis here. This kind of a cut, a horizontal cut, uh, has also symmetry on left and right, like the coronal cut. And the image that we get looks kind of uh, oval in shape. And finally, this is a cut along the third plane which you can see in this figure here. Uh, so we are looking at the brain from the top and if we cut along the midline um, like here, uh, then this is the image that we would get. So this kind of a cut is called the sagittal cut. Uh, you can also call it medial cut, but sagittal cut is the scientific term. And this now produces an image that does not have left and right symmetry. So this is the front part of the brain. This is the back side of the brain, the posterior side. Uh, you can see the cerebellum here and because we are now looking at uh, the top and bottom, the dorsal and ventral axis and the anterior posterior axis, we do not see symmetry in this image. So while the coronal cut and horizontal cut gives you images that have left and right symmetry, the sagittal cut gives you an image that does not have left and right symmetry.